this is Jim, uh, FRC LabVIEW Mentor. I'm going to walk through a procedure that I found works. I have it rung it out over extensive testing, but I've been able to transfer files from one computer to another, and in this case, from one year LabVIEW version to another, with uh, only modest issues. But in this case, what I was really looking for was uh, the older version of a 2018 of FRC had a simulator for the arcade project. The newer version does not. So what I'm going to do in this example is transfer an older version to the new project. Likewise, you can transfer projects in the current uh, version from one computer to another. And uh, you could follow the LabVIEW procedures that describe how to do this. Sometimes they're a little onerous. And like I say, this procedure may not always work, but it's worked now a couple dozen times for me between three different computers. So I feel uh, kind of comfortable with it. What you're going to see is I'm going to start a new, open a new file explorer window in the original computer where the project is a place that I stored. And under my documents, lab view data in the original computer, I'm going to open up the, project, the target project that I want to copy. There I'm going to select all the files, including the uh, simulator file. I'm going to hover the mouse over the pro LV project folder, or name, right-click to compress it. And this will generate a zip file, which then can be carried to a USB drive, emailed to a second computer, and then unzipped into a new folder with uh, 2019 on the, on the new target computer. So that sounds a little com confusing. Let me just walk through it and see if it doesn't make more sense. OK, in 2019 LabVIEW, I'm going to open a new project, and I'm going to call it uh, Simulator Target. Got to put in my team number. Good morning. finish it. So this is going to go into um, my LabVIEW data under that name. So I'm going to close this folder and go back into Windows Explorer. In, it, in Windows File Explorer, I'm going to go to the location where I've, I want to copy from. In this case, I've saved my lab view data from last year under a folder in robotics. And I've opened up this folder project that's called Simulator No Joy. And these are all the files that are there. I'm going to select one, hold down uh, shift, copy, hover over the LVJ project folder, right click, and send to compressed file. Creates a name a zip file with that same name, I can then put this on a USB drive and carry it to another computer, or I can email it to someone, and they can unzip it in their computer. So for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to unzip this folder now into my 2019 LabVIEW data, that project I already created. So I'm going to extract all, and my target folder is going to be Documents, lab view data, and I don't remember what clever name I used. But let's call it Sim Target. If I open that up, select the folder, and then unzip everything, I'm going to tell it to replace any files that are there. So we're going to do that. Now I close this. Go back to LabVIEW, and then reopen that target that I created. And as I do, it assimilates the folders that we copied in there and remaps them. Let's see if it's going to work. So I'm going to go in and look at Teleop, where I did my uh, dashboard controls in place of the joystick. And sure enough, I can see, that in this case, it's got that modified code. So let's run it and see if it works. So the 
the purpose for this whole transfer was the um, to move the arcade simulator, which is no longer in 2019, and that's invoked if I go into Robot Main and right click and now target this project to run on my computer, and it will line up to run the simulator. Takes it a couple seconds to make all the connections. So now if it's working correctly, I should be able to get the arcade simulator up and running. And sure enough, there it is. And if it's got the correct code in it, I should be able to go in and control the simulator or the robot with these buttons and sliders. And my driver station enabled. There goes my robot. And now I can use the simulator to develop new code. Now, the one thing that is a little different this year is a camera connection, so it doesn't always work. And that's, that's fodder for another webinar. But this is one way to transfer files from one computer to another or in some cases from one year to another. Hope this uh, works for you. Good luck this season. Have a good day.